So, another very nice classic Mercedes. This is an R129 SL600. So this is a pretty special SL600. This is an AMG. So uh, this particular car came on the market when AMG was still a separate company and was just on the option list of uh, Mercedes. So uh, this particular car is a uh, V12 with an AMG option that was uh, giving a little bit more horsepower. So it got modified cylinder heads. The say the channels in the cylinder heads were polished. Bigger intake and exhaust valves, different uh, camshafts, and that gives the car about 32 horsepower more. A little bit uh, that's when you look into which range, but it got 440 horsepower with the cats, 440 horsepower in 600 newton meters. So, and you got also a body kit. So, uh, it was around 25,000 day mark in the time. I thought it was only for the engine upgrades, not for the body kit. So this car uh, is a fully AMG package, so we got wheels, 17 inch wheels, three uh, piece wheels. So this one is in the rear to 255 and the front is 235, three piece wheels. So you can also got a body kit, these AMG style body kits look like the same, you got the same kind of kit also on the 124 and on the 201, the 190. They also have this, this is the wing, so and this is a very nice, very nice car. So this particular car is owned by uh, Jorge, the shop manager. So they have another one for sale, but those wheels were, are in, uh, they are polished or reconditioning. So that's a red one, so you can have a look on the website for the red one, that one is for sale. So this particular car has done 31,000 kilometers. So this is pretty pretty low. So this is uh, also I thought a 94 car or a 93. So it's a four-speed manual. Pretty luxurious, all red, all wood, electrical seats, both sides, including me uh, memory of course, heated seats. You got a full package. Also in the 600, you got. Uh, Hydraulic suspension that was standard on this particular car. <coughs> so I think it's a really nice color combination. Trunk. I thought it was about 300, 300 liters or something like that. So this is just uh, the placement for the battery. And this is the cover that when you get uh, the hot top off, you put it on. So uh, yeah, this one is pretty clean. New AMG mats. It's a very nice car. So let's show you under the hood. So big massive V12. So this is the M120 uh, V12. So uh, it's a 6 liter engine, so this one is not bought by AMG, that we got uh, we got later on on the SL70. They had also one for sale here, that has uh, 495 horsepower. So that is a 7 liter, so it's a little more cylinder head. So this has only got the uh, chain cylinder heads. So uh, like I said, bigger valves, different camshafts, polished, and, uh, polished uh, heads. So yeah, you can see it here also. 324 kilowatts is about 440 horsepower, it's uh, 5900 rpm, 600 newton meters at 4000 rpm. So, this particular car has a rev limit of 6000 rpm. So, uh, I thought 440 horsepower was at 6000 rpm on the rev limit, but yeah, that makes not that big a change. But yeah, this is a double overhead camshaft engine, 84 valves, of uh, 48, uh, 48 valves. Oh, yeah very very clean car so this car also came from Japan they sold it here at this company with about 16,000 kilometers and the previous owner drove it in two years for about 14 15,000 kilometers so up to uh, the miles is now on so very nice also blacked out grill it's just a very nice car but I also think it's pretty nice there's still a sticker in the middle mid console 
the sticker came when it's new, the other side you cannot read I think, but the, the first thousand kilometers you could not rev it over 3000 RPMs and then 1500 to 3500 and then it happened and then a lot 2500 kilometers only up to 2500 uh, 20, uh, RPM. so the sticker from new is still in here, I think that's a really nice feature, so yeah, everywhere you got some, this is also nice, eh? I think uh, some people don't know anymore what it is, but uh, it's a cassette deck. But there's a CD player in it from Becker in here. Yeah. Armrest you can move upside. There's also some storage in here. You don't have the optional rear seat in here, but yeah, I don't think you want to sit here. Everything is pretty nice and good condition. So I think we should do a test drive in this beauty. So let's have a test drive in this S600 AMG. Close the windows. So, this is going to be a smooth drive. Look, I've put the ventilation a little bit down, it's an automatic. Oh, that's good. So, yeah, <coughs> this is a 1993 or 1994 car. I tried to get some uh, information uh, of the web, but it's not that easy to find information about these early AMGs because uh, in the time this particular car came on the market it was still an um, I say that AMG was not uh, in cooperation with uh, the same company as Mercedes so it was not uh, AMG was not owned by Mercedes <coughs> so this was an option optional thing on the list that you could order at AMG So this particular uh, modification, uh, I think the only the engine modification was costing 25,000 Daymark. So it's about 13,000 euros in, in these times, so uh, yeah. It sounds not that expensive, but in 1993 it was a lot of money. So uh, what they, they did is they uh, the cylinder heads are polished, the channels are polished, different uh, bigger intake and exhaust valve. And uh, different camshafts, so you got more lift or more opening timing. So that resulted in, uh, if you look in this particular model, had a cat converter, so it has a 394 horsepower standard and 580 newton meters, 570 newton meters, something around that. So now you got 440 uh, horsepower at 5,900 RPM to 6,000 RPMs. And uh, the torque was up to 600 newton meters, so it's not a lot, but. Uh, because I thought the early <coughs> S600 that were delivered without a uh, cat converter, they had 590 Nm and 408 horsepower. But yeah, the S600 came in the, on the market in uh, July 1992, 1992, until uh, May of 2001. So it's longer produced than uh, in the s class because the s class with this engine is produced till 1998, and then the W220 came. So the R129 is uh, produced up to 2001. So the V12 was the same, uh, the 48 valve uh, V12 M120 engine. And then the other models, because with the V8 you got the M190 double overhead camshaft V8, that changed for the M113. But the SL600 always stayed with the same, this, this same engine. So, uh, the ventilation a little bit down, I hope you can hear me a little bit better now. So, uh, yeah, these particular cars are just really nice to drive because they are so smooth. It's just incredible. So I'm a little bit of adjustment of my seats because they really. F it's just like you, you're driving on, a, like you're floating. It's like a ship. So this particular, this this uh, with this engine, this V12 is really different from the V8. So it's, uh, yeah, I drove an SL70 before, it was also for sale, that, that's, uh, that came 
that was on the list price for Mercedes. You can order an SL70. So this is still an optional thing, like I said, and an SL70 was uh, on the list price. So an SL70 was new price of 320,000 Daymark. So that was a lot of money. And um, this particular car, the new price, I don't know for sure, but it was a lot of, I thought it was 90,000 Daymark up price to get an SL70. So and that has the same cylinder as, but also the it was bought and stroked the engine. So, but back to this particular model, this is also a limited edition to 150 models. So there are only 50, only 150 built. So uh, this particular car is from uh, Jorge Moreno himself. It's it's uh, the shop manager that owns uh, this particular car, and they have another one for sale. It's, it's completely the same car, only that one is red, and uh, that is on the on the website of Passion Car. Yeah, there's a link below the video. You can uh, see it over there. But that car I uh, wanted to drive with that red one because it was for sale. But that that car had uh, the wheels are going to be reconditioned, so they are the same three-piece wheels as this one, and uh, it's 17-inch uh, AMG wheels, 255 in the back and 225 in the front. Just very smooth. That's a pretty heavy car, it weighs 1950 kilos. So I thought out of my head, and V8 model weighs uh, 1860 or 1890, so it's uh, a lot heavier because, yeah, of course, the engine is bigger. But these uh, S600 has uh, SL600 has standard also the hydraulic suspension, the self leveling suspension. That was standard on this particular model that it's in the front and in the back. But this particular car is a uh, 720 3 transmission. So it's a 4 speed transmission. So the difference in between the later models 1995, you got the, the transmission is changed to a 5 speed transmission 7226. They had the same gear ratios, only there was an extra gear, 50 gear. Because this, this particular car. 6,000 RPMs also runs uh, when you don't have a speed limiter because this particular car I think is still a speed limit of 250 but they can run around 280 to 90 in 4 gear so it's uh, kilometers down so if you have a 5 speed it will go wide over over uh, 300 kilometers so yeah so now I'm driving 110 kilometers an hour and it's just 2400 RPM so if you got a 5 speed it will drop below 2000 RPMs. So this particular car has only done 31,000 kilometers, so it's uh, it's like new. So an original SL600 should do zero to 100 in about 6.3 seconds. So this has a little bit more power. So I could not find the right number on the web, but I'm guess it will do it just under six seconds. But uh, we will do an acceleration test. And uh, we shall see how good this car will perform. So, zero to 100 should be possible in around six seconds, I think. And let's see what we can do. So, traction control can be put off, but I'm not going to do that. I got air conditioning off. So, uh, let's see. model is uh, more than 20 years old eh? and still pulls like this it's just a really fast car you can imagine when you were in 1993 and buying a car like this is going nothing is faster than this so the people who are seeing uh, the light on the dash here this is from the uh, seat belt there's normally a warning uh, in the seat belt I can't put the seat belt on but it's still on so it's nothing to worry about. Really nice. 
Nice shifting transmission. So what do we got on the dash? We got on the left, we got uh, fuel. Here we got, uh, it gives how much fuel you're using per kilometer. So it's most of the time it's in the right. <laughs> It's about uh, this engine temperature, uh, coolant temperature, oil pressure, and we got, of course, we got um, speedo. Normally, it's, I thought it was to 260 in an SL 600, but an AMG is going to 300. Tachometer and the clock. So uh, yeah, that's it. So I hope you like this video about this SL 600 AMG. I really enjoyed it. It's a, a pretty rare car. I'll only build 150 times, so uh, there is a red one for sale on the website. Link below the video, passioncar.de. There's a red one for sale, completely the same as this one, only it's in red. So uh, I really like this particular bonus style. Maybe I like it more than the SL70, that has a more modern kit and has a diff uh, different, uh, what is it, mono block wheels, I think. It's uh, 18 or 19 inch, they are on that, it's from 1995, then it was. And the, uh, and the Mercedes, and this is still an optional thing, so yeah. And this engine, I really like this engine. So, for uh, people who are following my channel, know that I'm uh, also doing an engine swap with an ML2312. It's the same kind of engine as this one, but not an AMG one, but a normal one. So, I put it in the 190. So, if you want to see that also in my playlist in the right corner, you can see for you in the right corner there's a lo my logo. You can click on it, you go to my main page. You can see uh, also those projects, but also more Mercedes. I drove also from a uh, passion car, I drove an SL70 and an SL60. And it's a good comparison to see what is the difference between a V8 and a uh, V12 because a V8 is much, much lighter on the nose than a uh, V12. And you can really feel that in this particular car because, because this car is weighing 1950 kilos and an uh, SL60 or a V8 one or an SL500. But the weights are, I thought, 1860, so it makes a lot of difference. And all the weight is in the, in the, the most of the weight is in the, in the nose. So yeah, but this is still very comfortable, and I, I think it's, uh, yeah, I don't know yet. If I would choose a V12 or a V8, I like them both. V8 is more, more aggressive, but like a little bit more like a hot rod. And this is, this V12 is a, is more smoother, but it's not that aggressive. It is aggressive and it shifts, uh, it's very hard on the gas, but it's lower revving, uh, yeah. You don't need to rev to make power in this car, the power is everywhere. So uh, yeah, I really like it. So uh, put a thumbs up if you like the video and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.